Peace, world. Peace, love and light. Yeah, I want to talk about this cyber crime and this cyber bullying that Melissa Rosa and Luis Rodriguez, the ones that are caught up in this uh, inheritance attempted heist and uh, property theft and uh, attempted murder and everything. Yeah, this cyber bullying me. They got my devices hacked and cloned, okay? And I had somebody at my phone carrier go ahead and uh, infiltrate my information. And so they got my phone hacked, okay? They have an Ill illegal government phone jammer on my phone, okay? I see and know when they're on there because my phone keeps booting, booting up and keeps lagging. And I know when it, I know when your phone is hacked. And my phone's definitely hacked. Yeah, it's Melissa Rosa from 112 Seaview Avenue. She working with the government. Yeah, she's possibly a CIA agent. Yeah, uh huh. They're both sick. They're out here spreading STDs, HIV, and everything. I know it to be actual fact. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and update my information on the federal agency, FTC, Federal Trade Commission. I'm about to upgrade my information and go ahead and uh, uh, include that cyber crime and cyber bullying in my case that is already ongoing with the federal agencies against Melissa Rosa and Luis Rodriguez. Yeah, and Melissa, stay away from me. Get your life together, it's over, you know what I mean? You did all this fuck shit, try to kill me, try to put it, you put me in your fault, you married me fraudulently, put, took an insurance policy out on me, you know what I'm saying? You've been trying to do everything and nothing working, you're blocked, and so now you're all caught up, you're ready to go to jail, half dead, walking around half dead, sick, spreading diseases, having sex parties and rituals and fucking on everybody, you're a sexual predator, you like young kids, you know, all that shit. And one of y'all been fucking around with one of your kids, all that shit. So, stay away from me. Take the focus off of me Because I'm, I don't think about you like that I do not like you anymore I used to When I was over there I didn't know all this shit When I moved away Is when I really, really fully woke up To what y'all was doing to me For the last few years I moved across the street from y'all 112 CBU Avenue At 115 CBU Avenue 2018 December of 2018 So for four years Y'all been stealing from me You've been stealing You've been doing all this other crazy shit so now they're all, you're all caught up and now you, you're facing legal issues, facing prison, mad time. And Lewis, he about to get 30 or more plus years, life sentence. And now that, that shit didn't work out because you chose him. You thought the grass was green over there. We never went together. We never had sex. You know what I mean? You went around lying, tell everybody that you had sex with me, all this other shit. We never did anything like that. We always have been nothing but strictly platonic friends. We used to smoke pot and drink coffee together every day. That's it. For about two and a half years, but I've known you for three, about four years. I moved here 2018 December. So because everything didn't work out between y'all and y'all caught up and he about to die and go to jail, you think I can save you? You think, you know, I'm that much of an option? I'm not no fucking option. You know what I mean? You was for the streets. He was for the streets. You married a whore. And I think he's your cousin. I think he's your family member anyway because y'all got this big incest thing going on. And y'all like to keep it in the family. Yeah, you mad because I didn't want to become part of your three sons and your third party bullshit and your sex rituals and being gay and all that. I don't have nothing against nobody being gay. But just be honest with your shit. If you're gay, you're gay. Don't hide it. Don't be ashamed of everybody and what people think about you. But I'm going to tell you something. The last thing I'm thinking about is being with you. Sexually, mentally, physically, and spiritually. I do not want you. So please stop being delusional with your um, masculine, delusional masculine energy. Melissa, I do not want you. I forgive you. I forgave you all last year. I, to I totally did. I told you when I seen you a month ago. You didn't want to talk. You were saying I was crazy and this and that. And y'all, you and Mildred just went in the house and did whatever the fuck y'all did. You betrayed me with her. I know about that. That's why I moved. That's why I moved away because I knew you fucked her. I knew that. And he possibly did too. But it's okay. Like I said before in a video last year, go back. Casualties of war is what happens. It happens. You got to throw somebody out there to the wolves when it happens. You know what I mean? So look, the last thing I'm thinking about, like I said, is sex period. Okay, I'm celibate. I'm still not having sex. Okay, I'm not thinking about sex. I'm thinking about my future, my prosperity, my wealth, and my business. That's what I'm thinking about. 
So you guys been stealing and stalking my, my uh, business on YouTube. I have a, three platforms. And so now we about to go ahead and lock this cyber crime shit up in there too with the rest of you guys, federal crimes. You know, you can't do this. You're going to jail. I've been telling, I told your mother and David, y'all going to prison, okay? So stop trying to think that you want to come and back and be with me. I cannot help you. Only you could help you, but I forgive you and I do not love you. I do not care about you. You need to love yourself. You don't love me. You don't love yourself. So get your life together, man. Get your health together. The main thing I'm saying is take your focus off of me. That should be the last thing that you're focusing on. Either one of y'all understand you both want me. I do not want nothing from none of y'all. I don't owe you nothing and you don't owe me anything. I don't need your apology. I'm happy. I'm happy with me. I don't need anything from you or Lewis. So y'all go ahead, be amongst each other. Y'all can do whatever you want to do. Exchange fluids with the whole town of Long Branch. I don't care. But I don't want you or him. I definitely don't want you in my life. I can't trust you. You try to ostracize me. You try to kill me. And because nothing worked, y'all can't block me. You can't get near me. Every time you try to come to me, you got into a car accident, anything. Y'all ditched the car. You bought a car in my name. You crashed the car. Act like you fake your death. Go to prison. Take the focus off me. I do not want you. Okay? And stop cyberbullying people. Peace. Love and light balance. I love you. I'm happy. I love myself. That's when you can love someone else.